YouTube, this is Atomic Laser coming to you with a 400 subscriber contest. I haven't ran a contest in a while, and I've been sitting around 250 subscribers for a little while, so I figured it's time to do another contest. Um, so yeah, here, for one spot, it's going to be I'm in. You like, you have to like this video, and you have to be, and you subscribe to me, or you have to be subscribed already. For 10 spots, I want a video response promoting this contest, like you know, saying, "Oh, check out Atomic Laser. He's running a 400 subscriber contest. He has some cool videos." And you also have to make. Um, do something on the following prompt that'll be down there that'll be last in this video and then um so what's going to be happen is there's going to be two prizes they will be announced at a later date they're going to be good autos patches or great and or graded cards probably going to be one card for each prize maybe two um i haven't gotten any gotten those prizes yet i may pull something out of my uh, collection or i might get them on ebay probably going to buy them on ebay some nice cards one card or one prize will go to everyone and that'll be done by like the one spot, ten spots. So it's gonna be randomed, and then the second one will be um, all the video responses will, will be random. And basically, if you have a video response, you're only put in there once, and everybody that made a video response can be random. So that's also another incentive for doing a video response. So the question is, what's gonna be in your video response? Well, first you're gonna promote the contest, like I said earlier, and next you're also gonna uh, uh, answer this prompt. And this is make a case how your favorite team has a shot at winning a title this year. Even if you don't think they will. If you don't have a favorite team, pick one. You think it's a dark horse contender. For example, Minnesota Timberwolves would be a dark horse, dark, dark horse contender. And pick one that you think, and pick a dark horse you think actually might win. Um, don't pick like the Heat or the Pacers or someone like that that everyone knows has a really good shot. Or the Thunder or something like that. Pick someone else. Be a little bit more creative. Your team is in an obvious sort of rebuilding phase. Explain, explain why they will win in the next few years. That goes for teams like, um, like the Sixers and like Bobcats and stuff like that. And even the Bobcats, I guess you could try to make a case of why they can win. I don't know. You probably have to. And the, like Celtics is also rebuilding. You know, Jazz. Explain their. Um, so you have to explain your team's strengths and weaknesses and what they can do to solve the weaknesses this season, or in the off season. And then in the seasons following, if your um, your team is in the rebuilding phase, so I'll give an example. Uh, my team, my favorite team, obviously is the Pistons. So pulled up their stats. Um, so you can see by a roster, we have a pretty good starting lineup. Brandon Jennings, you know Chauncey or Stucky, who are we starting? You know it's been changing. KCP, I think, is an, and ultimately be starting at the two. Then we got the trio of big men: Josh Smith, Greg Monroe, and Andre Drummond. So, basically, I think that this trio, they're not working out right now that well. We're not defending that well with these three big guys in the court, but I think it's going to take a little bit of time for them to develop and play well together. It's going to take them, you know, it's going to take them until probably about halfway through the season for them to actually be able to play good together. You can see we got Brandon Jennings scoring the most, 15.9 points per game. That's pretty inefficiently also, may I remind you. But he's also averaging eight assists, which is pretty good. You know, we're we're doing pretty good in the steals category. Blocks not so much. But um basically teams are gonna are having a hard time matching up against our size. And that's gonna keep and it's gonna keep going more and more as the season, you know, goes along and our team develops. I think teams are gonna have a really hard time against us. Especially teams like the the Heat on off on when we're playing offense at least. I don't think that they can really match up against us that well. I mean they may be, they may throw in Greg Oden on Drummond and they're gonna throw in Bosch. Bosch on Monroe. That's not gonna do good. Bosch can't defend Monroe. And they're probably not gonna be able to play Odin that much, especially if he gets injured again. So who are you gonna what are you gonna do? Throw Odin on or throw Bosch on Drummond, you know, LeBron on Greg Monroe or Josh Smith and Battier on Josh Smith? That's not gonna work out very well, so I think that's that's pretty much our strengths. We have Andre Drummond single handedly. I think he has the highest field goal percentage in the league. Let me just check what his field goal percentage is. He's a 664. Don't mind Harrelson. He doesn't take many shots. He's a 664 shooting percentage, and he's average. He's only taking nine shots a game. He's still scoring what? Still scoring 12.3 points per game. So that's pretty good. I mean, he's doing really good. And he's averaging a ton of rebounds too. 12 rebounds a game. So he's just been a beast for us. And um, so that's pretty much for the strengths. Weaknesses is going to be our outside shooting and spreading the floor. We don't have anyone that can consistently hit the three. I mean, we have Josh Smith, on the other hand, who thinks he can hit the three, but he's terrible at threes. 
as we all know, that's why Atlanta didn't like him. I mean, Will Bynum's hitting pretty good. I don't think that's going to continue. Chauncey's struggling. You know, Josh Smith, obviously, where is he at? 290. That's terrible. Brent Jennings is at 306. So what I think we need to do is we need to trade somebody. Um, I think we need to trade some expiring contracts that are pretty valuable. Like Stucky, I think he's expendable. We can trade him. And we can also trade Charlie Villanueva, who's also very expendable. I think we can trade those two guys and get a good um, outside shooter. I think a good um, person we could get would be, what's his name? Uh, Aaron Aflalo from the Magic. He's doing really good. His value is going up. So I think we could trade those two in a pick maybe for Aflalo, spread the floor, and play some D. We don't really have any perimeter defense either. Jennings is not that great at defense. I think we need to get Tony Mitchell some more minutes. I think he's going to be really good. Siva, I think, is going to be decent backup. So I think we need to get Stucky out of here and Villanueva. Well, I mean, they they're still have expiring contracts, but if we can get a nice perimeter player for them in return, it'd be good. KCP, I think, is ultimately going to develop, but I th still think he should be the sixth man coming off the bench, so we need a good starter. Um, also, I think we need to move Monroe to the bench right now if things don't start picking up. Because I think I think by around half they're gonna by the half time or not half the halfway mark that's when they're gonna really be able to play well together. But I think in order to start winning games we need to start playing together a little bit less and have them play together more in practice. You know, still play them together but not as much and have Monroe come off the bench. Or we need to trade Monroe altogether and get um get somebody else. I think we should have really in the off season we should have signed. Oh, uh, what's his name? And Andre Iguodala instead of signing Smith, Josh Smith. That's just my opinion. But uh, we need we need to get some more perimeter scores, consistent perimeter scores, and uh, defenders. And I think Aaron Afal would be a great fit bringing him back to Detroit. So that's kind of an example of what I'm looking for. You can go more in depth would be better. This is kind of something I just put quickly together. And uh, yeah, be creative with it and have fun with it. It's gonna be uh, nice to watch everyone's videos. You know, and and don't be like, don't be like, if you you know, if your favorite team's the Heat, don't just say, oh, we're gonna win the championship for one reason, LeBron James. You know, that's maybe true, but you know, make some more of it. Talk about Michael Beasley, how he's doing really good. You know, um, just get creative with it and and try to make a good video response for everyone to watch. So yeah, that's that's it for this contest. Please join and make some video responses, and be looking forward to watching them. Thanks for watching.